morning guys uh, got a late start this morning because I was out partying all night last night just kidding I was in bed by 11:30, <laughs> but I was still a little slower moving this morning so I only did 30 minutes on the treadmill but I did 45 minutes yesterday so movement is movement I am pleased so at the party yesterday the neatest thing happened I was just standing there in the crowd of people and someone taps me on my shoulder it was a stranger someone I didn't know and it was this young woman and she said I follow you on Instagram and I was like oh my god you do and she was like yeah I've been keto for two months and I was like oh my god you are and she showed me her before and after pictures and her friend has also been doing keto for a month and is having great results and that was just amazing to me. It was like the first time I've ever been spotted in the wild by someone that didn't know me. And it was just really great to like see the physical manifestation of the impact that you're having on people's lives. Like it pretty much made my entire night. So right now I'm on my way to Meyer. I haven't been there in what feels like so long, uh, but I am going. I'm excited this week. For meal two, I am having bunless barbecue bacon cheeseburgers. I've really just come back around to that. I ordered some cut the carb wraps. They're not here yet, but I'm already anticipating what I'm gonna do when I get them. Of course, we couldn't have anything like that on Deeper State Keto. So I am excited to get into the low carb wrap game, see what I can do. Uh oh, wrap game, picky picky. See what I did there? I did not even, I didn't. For my first meal, I was like, I just want chicken and vegetables and like cream so I'm thinking I'll make like a chicken broccoli spinach alfredo like thing whenever I calculate my macros I generally base it off of what I refer to as the anchor meal for the week meaning I want to eat this meal with these ingredients so let me calculate those macros and then depending on what I have left will determine how much of everything else I eat so for instance, my anchor meal this week is the bacon cheeseburger. So I'm going to take the macros of the burger, of the cheese, of the barbecue sauce, of the bacon, of the vegetables, and then after I calculate that, I'll see how many I have left, and that is what determines the quantity of which I will use the chicken and the alfredo and the broccoli. So. I kind of go in with one concrete and then one is flexible based on how many macros I have left. I don't know what I'm doing, so let's get to the store and figure it out. Fleslet on the beat.
the original plan was to make bacon and eggs and watch live with Matt and Mega. Uh, but I just don't feel like making eggs and so I've just been randomly eating off of the bacon that I made. So I'm just going to have an Atkins bar and watch Matt and Mega. Well guys, I finished meal prep and I was able to sit down and relax for a while but in true Sunday fashion. Uh, wouldn't be a day if I didn't have to go to the shop. So I am going to the shop, do a couple hours of work there, and then I'm gonna come home and see if I can sit down and do nothing for a little bit. I don't know. Two kids on the block had a bunch of hits. Chinese food makes me sick. And I think it's fly when girls stop by for the summer, for the summer. I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. I take her if I have one dish. She's been gone since that summer, since that summer. Okay guys, I just got back from the shop. Everything is cooled down, so let's see what we have for meal prep. First, we got bacon. This is going to be for the bacon cheeseburger, as well as I have enough to where I can sprinkle some on top of my Alfredo casserole. I don't know what I'm calling it. We have the burgers for the bacon cheeseburgers. So I have the cut up, onion and jalapeno in the fridge. I'm gonna have lettuce wrap, burger, bacon, mayo, barbecue sauce, onion, jalapeno. Oh my God, that just sounds so good. I'm probably gonna have an Atkins bar. I really enjoyed those last week. I'm gonna give them a go this week and then see if I can find an alternative. The star of the show today, however, is this beauty. Guys, look, I don't know if, I mean, you just can't tell how great it looks, but it is just the spinach, the broccoli, the chicken, the Alfredo sauce. And then I threw some red pepper flakes in there, what? And covered it with mozzarella and just baked it in the oven. And as you can see from that little corner, I had to stop myself from eating it, but I've tasted it and it's so good. And I'm so happy that it just turned out amazing. You know, I could have topped that with some pork rinds. Like, oh my God, the possibilities are endless. But that's all for today. I'm just going to relax. It's still kind of early, so I might work some more. Probably not, but it is a possibility. Probably not, but it is a possibility. Other than that, thanks for sticking around. I'm glad to get back into the feel of like a real meal prep felt kind of good. Even though next week I will hope to be able to plan better so that I can. No, hold on. Before I was so rudely interrupted, it just feels good to get back into a full blown meal prep. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll catch you next week.